the wacky world of Multimedia J. <laughs> what month was this again? For whatever reason, we're getting summer weather after Labor Day. Must be real fun for the kids that just went back to school to have this kind of weather in September after all that Chamber of Commerce stuff we had for most of the summer. So in the midst of this sweltering weather, my last order from last week finally came in. So here's what I ordered from Lukey Games. And the interesting part about this order is that this order didn't cost me one red penny. The product was free and the shipping was free. I actually uh, ordered it with rewards points from purchasing the Super Retro Trio and Super Retro Advance. Lukey Games... I'm not really too enthused with Lukey so far. Uh, Lukey Games actually uh, is structured kind of like a traditional retailer. If, you, if you're if you're familiar with like a traditional supermarket where the prices aren't that exciting, but you can get like a supermarket discount card or you can catch sales or have some kind of reward point system or something like that. It's basically a system that rewards you with not getting hammered as much price wise if you keep an eye on what's on sale and stuff. So I really am not that enthused to be seeing this kind of pricing from an e-tailer. I mean, it's just, just not what I'm used to. I mean, this is the sort of thing that I would expect from a brick-and-mortar dinosaur. But hey, free is free, and uh, the, the uh, Retro Trio and Super Retro Advance were accessories that I was going to get anyways. So here's my first set of games from Lukey's that didn't cost me anything. So let's take a look here. We have Word Triss on the Super Nintendo. Pretty decent condition, although these carts are pretty sticky. I don't know if they need to be cleaned off or if they're sticky just because of the humidity. So Word Triss on the Super Nintendo is basically a Word version of Tetris and... Oh, brother, these people are as bad as GameStop. <laughs> stickers over stickers. What the heck, Lukies? Anyways, so Word Triss is a game that I played over sitters' houses as a kid, and it was actually this girl I went to school with. One of my sitters was her mom. Her mom used to watch me when I was growing up. She actually was one of those parents that made the critical mistake of getting the wrong Super Nintendo for her daughter. She actually started out with the control set instead of the super set. So, if you yeah, it was it was kind of a test to see how much your parents were paying attention if they got you a Super Nintendo back in those days where if they got you the control set instead of the super set, hey, you know this thing doesn't even come with a game and it only has one controller? What? So, uh, oh, but it was cheaper! So then you went back to the store and you wound up having to buy a game so your kid could actually play a new Nintendo. So, this girl whose mom was watching me at the time, her first experience of the Super Nintendo was this instead of Super Mario World. Sad, isn't it? Anyways, we'll get back to that sticker on the back, sticker on sticker stuff in the back, in just a second. The other game is Star Wars Episode One Racer, which benefits from the expansion pack. I already took the sticker off the back. Uh, somewhat okay condition, scratches all over the place on the front, and it's a little sticky. I don't know if it's because of the humidity or if it needs to be cleaned up, but these things are looking a lot better than the ratty stuff I've gotten from that second-hand place around here. So, uh, Star Wars Episode One Racer, uh, it's, it's basically better than the movie. This game is actually halfway decent. It's pretty decent. It's based on the pod racing from Star Wars Episode One, and uh, it's funny because I actually played this game before I saw the movie. So I was playing through, and I was like, Anakin Skywalker? Who the heck is that? So, uh, yeah. The, uh, it's based on the pod racing in Episode One, and I've actually found this game to be better than the movie. So, yay, Episode One Racer, and it'll benefit from the expansion pack. Although, uh... The it was kind of slim pickings. Obviously, they get rid of some stuff. Uh, they get rid of their surplus or something through the rewards program. So, all right, let's see how uh, let's see how cooperative the sticker is. These things were recently applied, so oh, good, 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 good. Came right off, and I just gotta wipe down these games with uh, some general purpose cleaner, and they'll be good to go. And we'll of course check the uh, the cartridge contacts as well. So let's get straight to that, shall we? But, uh, actually, no. 
So Wordress, uh, this was a sitter game that I played over sitter's houses. Still find it somewhat interesting to this day, although it will be interesting to play this game and forget that certain words weren't in use back in the 90s. So I'm just looking for, I'm just going to chuckle the day I spell selfie in this thing and it doesn't go through. So it's basically Tetris with Scrabble pieces. The best way you can describe this game is Tetris with Scrabble pieces. Letters fall down, you have to make words and stuff. And the word bank was made in the early 90s, so watch what you put in. And uh, Star Wars episode one racer star wars episode one racer somewhat okay condition but hey freeze free and uh all right uh, let's check the uh, let's just clean these up a bit and let's check the contacts okay i've cleaned up the contacts enough to load them up in the systems and fire them up but it looks like the wordtress one's gonna have to be taken apart completely and uh deep cleaned there's a, some residue of some stuff in here and i'm getting some uh dirt and tobacco residue on the q-tip from uh from it so overall, somewhat okay, but it looks like Lugies is yet another reseller who doesn't really do much to improve the condition of the games, except look for ones in good condition to begin with. Or maybe they clean them or something like that. I'm guessing the stickiness is from the humidity, and also Lugies is located in Florida, so I can imagine if New England is this bad, I can imagine how bad this, this must be for them down in Florida right now. Yeah, anyways... Alright, so both games fired up quite nicely. I'll deep clean Wordtress later, maybe when the weather's not so lousy, although the humidity's supposed to break tomorrow, but let's talk about let's talk about some of this internet deal hunting that I've been doing, which is kinda like an internet version of these people going to all these yard sales and stuff. Obviously the advantage here is that you're not gonna burn a ton of gas driving between various different stores, flea markets, and other stuff. And try, you know, and try and hunt things down. I mean, it's all right here, and you just have to pay a flat shipping fee and have it sent to you. Although shipping does become an issue on some sites, depending on how they do things. But uh, that's basically the thing here. Tabbed browsing, as you can see with my browser here, is a necessity when looking for this kind of stuff. It's not like I order from these places because, and only because, they, uh, they advertise that something is on sale. Oftentimes, a, a sale price is actually a regular price somewhere else. So it's very important to cross-check and click around and bust out the tabs browsing to compare and uh, open new tabs all over the place and do all kinds of other stuff to really compare all these prices. And then service comes into a, it comes into play too. With uh, if say the e-tailer is not all that great at what they do or something like that, which is how I learned that lesson. The, my lesson when uh, doing stuff with, via Price Watch years and years ago. I eventually stopped Price Watching for computer parts and started just going to Newegg instead because the prices were in the ballpark of what I was looking for and the service was top notch. So Lukey Games is kind of middle of the road as far as e-tailers go, although I do find it hilarious that the address they ship the orders from starts with 1337, so did they do that on purpose? Little leech speak joke there. So, okay, here's a great example. Blowout specials, supposedly. But, even though these are sale prices, I still want to cross-check this... The cross-check? What is this, hockey? I still want to cross-reference these sale prices to prices elsewhere. And lots of prices elsewhere, too. So, uh, let's say Pro Wrestling, for example, for the NES. A game that I've been looking at getting for the Super Retro Trio. Thought it was on the Virtual Console, but it's not. So, I'm very surprised that it isn't. There's a couple other uh, Black Label NES series games from those days that have found their way onto the virtual console but pro wrestling isn't one of them so obviously this is normally twenty dollars on here gaujarama on sale for 464 now is that sale price actually worth it let's do some checking around jj games often good for pricing and stuff like that what do they got this going for seven bucks caught slipping none of the conditions put it down anywhere close to that four dollar price point this is more in line with what i usually see on ebay six to seven dollars for the most part dk oldies nine dollars not a skip e starland 674 big huge store lots of people like, lots of people like oh e starland is so awesome they're huge they're established they're not even close so that's when you bust out the Google Shopping, which aggregates a lot of stuff, and uh, including eBay listings. And so you can click through. If you want to try out, try getting stuff from eBay listings, then you can. Otherwise, you can just hunt around like this one. Bonanza Sosa Games is booth one seller, three seventy-five used. Is this? Some, I think this is an auction site. 
Uh, I think it's like a buy it now, yeah, bonanza, buy it now type price, or buy it now, eBay knockoff, etc., etc. But if we keep scrolling down here, we've got 390 used from 10 stores. So, okay, there's an eBay person, more eBay, da 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 da. And then there's this one, $4 even from Player's Choice Video Games. So there is some seller reviews there. And if you go to that site, and of course you got this here too, although I couldn't find these folks on reseller ratings or something like that, so I don't know if they're new or something along those lines, or where are they located, considering you can view the price in US dollars, oh, you can view prices all over the place. Uh, where are they shipping from here? Is there an about link in here? Blog, classic systems, click here for your free games. Cool. Ah, da, 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 da. Amazon, eBay, is there an about on here anywhere? Where the heck are these folks shipping from? So, okay, so yeah, I can go in and say, hey, I can go in and ask, do you want to price match something or something like that? And I say, hey, you know, if you're, if you're trying to compete with the internet, there's this e-tailer on there that's selling this game for $4. Although I was planning on going to the flea markets, and there is one flea market around here that has this game in a stack of dusty NES games. What I'm thinking of doing is heading up there and seeing if they'll do like four or five for it, as the chair creaks all over the place. And of course, here's some eBay listings, 375 plus 250 shipping, although of course you do have to watch the shipping fees, see what that brings everything up to. Although the thing with shipping fees is they're usually kind of flat, so you can just get a bunch of games, and if you can find a bunch of games from the same good place, then you just pay one shipping fee and it's not that big of a deal. You can almost like split the shipping between all the games to uh, kind of kind of split it and add, add up the contribution to shipping for the price and stuff that way versus driving to all kinds of yard sales and you might not find anything and all that other stuff. So uh, burning all that gas, $4 gallon gas, maybe three fifty a gallon gas if you're in a part of the country where gas isn't so expensive etc 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 so it's not like I'm fanboy buying from these sites if there's something I want I cr and even if there's a sale price allegedly I cross check everything t versus I cross check everything versus all the other major sites that I buy from I've had pretty decent experiences with JJ games somewhat decent experience with DK oldies have yet to try East Starland but if there's a title I'm looking for in East and I feel like getting it in East Starland eventually has some awesome deal then I'll go for it but that's the thing you just got to click around and keep an eye on stuff and don't for most importantly don't go wasting your gas and your time if you don't know for certain that there's a deal somewhere so that's a completely different story, but um, offline game hunting is a completely different story and a completely different, I different issue altogether. So, the humidity breaks tomorrow. Hopefully things will start feeling better around here tomorrow instead of this summer weather in September. But at least it's not snow. Till next time, this is Multimedia J, signing off. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> 23 dollar pushover is still on ebay gee i wonder why yeah yeah i know it's been decades now but i still think that fire eater is totally awesome